My name is Charlie and I am addicted to self-improvement. Cheers. Throughout my life, I've spent close to 10,000 hours reading, doing, listening, and watching this type of stuff. I take cold showers, hit the gym, network with millionaires, and like a thousand other things. And yeah, in this video, I'll tell you the most important concept I learned doing all these things and how it's helped me become a multimillionaire by the age of 30. So in 2017, I was pretty broke and I decided that I'd had enough. I didn't want my parents to be disappointed in me anymore. And so after a two week trip to Southeast Asia, I decided to completely transform my daily activities. Activities. And after five years, I've accomplished some things that, yes, my parents are proud of me for. I realized that through spending four to five hours a day and thousands of hours in total, improving yourself boils down to one fundamental idea. And the idea when I was planning out this video made me think, like, damn, is it really that simple? Have I actually just been doing this the entire time? Basically, I just realized that everything I'm doing right now is just changing things up. And so that brings me to the concept, which won't make that much sense on its own and will require the rest of this video to explain. But in a nutshell, that concept is drum roll. You must make major shifts in your life. Archilochus once said, we don't rise to the level of our expectations. We fall to the level of our training. Basically, this is saying that you wanna spend less time focusing on the outcome and focus more on the collection of daily habits that will lead to the outcome. And when it comes to those habits, shifting is the key word. Yes, I know shifting is a super general verb. So let me explain a little bit more. I believe that we are all predisposed to live a certain way. Our upbringing, our education, our friends, families, activities, these all contribute to how we act as a person. Now, the great thing about self-improvement is that it works for anyone. You can be on the lower end of the economic ladder, you could be in the middle, or you could even be on the top. We're all going about our lives making decisions every single day, and those decisions naturally gravitate us on a certain path. I will say that those at the top have huge advantages, meaning that their baseline path is likely going to be trending upwards. Those at the bottom have huge disadvantages, meaning their baseline path is likely flat or even trending downwards at no fault of their own. But you guys, the amazing thing with self-improvement is that you can actually use it to change your trajectory. And that's why I'm making this video. I truly believe that everyone watching this, no matter their current circumstance, has the option to drastically improve their life. So I want you to think about all the different habits, environments, and work activities that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. If we're talking about making major shifts in your life, that's going to apply to these three things. Note that shifting requires one, identifying what things need to be shifted, two, taking action, and three, just doing that consistently. All right, so let's first talk about your habits. Let's face it, your habits influence the hundreds of different small choices you make every single day. Your wake up time, your morning routine, your gym schedule or lack thereof, and even how hard you work. When we round up all our habits and realize that all these habits have a major role in our success, we need to realize that change is needed. So if you apply the major shift concept, we'll want to change all of these things. Wake up at a different time. Implement a better or different morning routine. Gym a lot more. Time block so you work harder and smarter. So in the last five years, I basically just changed up all of my different habits. Before I used to go to sleep super late and then also wake up super late as well. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but I was just like, I'm going to completely shift this and going to bed a lot earlier as well. This change was pretty major for me as I had been a night owl for all my life. So yeah, that's just one example of how I shifted my life. I also looked at my previous morning routine, aka the absence of one. Before I admit, I would just wake up and not do anything. Now I shifted into doing a morning routine that consisted of water, meditation, writing, and reading. Completely different than what I used to do. I also shifted the way that I worked. I did deep work in the early mornings and throughout the day with an incorporation of time blocking into my schedule. That is a huge shift from how I used to do work, which would normally be throughout the afternoons and at night. Every pre-existing habit I had that was not necessarily doing any harm, but also not doing any good, I just decided to change them up completely. I guess you could sort of say that I reinvented myself. And that, you guys, sparked some pretty crazy changes in my life. So the next thing I shifted was my environment. And in 2019, I moved from West LA to Costa Mesa, California. This was a huge move for me as I've been living in LA for nine years with a pretty steady group of friends that I was very comfortable with. I wish I could take credit for the move, but actually my girlfriend needed to move for work. She was starting up her own business here in Costa Mesa. And since I could work from pretty much anywhere, I decided let's just do the move and see what happens. And guys, I am so happy that we made that move. It has literally been one of the most transformational moves of my life. And I really do credit it a lot for all of the things that I've been able to do over the last few years. By getting uncomfortable with a new environment, I was forced to meet new people, try new things, and just 
be myself. Before, my entire friend group was really smart people that went to great schools but did normal 9 to 5 jobs. And I always sort of felt outcasted because no one could really relate to what I was doing. By moving here, I was able to make friends with so many entrepreneurs and that you guys made me feel like I fit in for the first time in my life. I don't take it lightly when I say this, but I truly believe that moving can be one of the best things you do in your life, especially when it comes to self-improvement. It doesn't have to be a new city, although that does help. In fact, you can just move from one apartment or house to another. That definitely changes up your environment, but you know, for the biggest impact, you'll want to choose a completely different city and move there. That's why you guys, I'm living in this house for a week. It's still in Costa Mesa, not too far from where I currently live, but I was getting the itch to try and move and I really want to test out how it was like to live in a house. So yeah, I just decided to rent this house. I think the takeaway here is that you just need to constantly shift things so that things aren't stagnant. If your physical self is stagnant in one spot, then it's very likely that your accomplishments are also going to be stuck in one spot. So if you guys can, try to shift your environment. I know that a lot of you guys watching this probably can't because you might have a family, but if you guys are single and you're able to move, really, really consider this. Pick an awesome city that you think you'd vibe with and just make the move. I guarantee you, your ability to self-improve is going to shoot through the roof. And then third is you wanna look at your current income and lifestyle and think, is this what I want? If it's not, which to be honest, most of us are gonna fall in this category since it can always be improved, then we need to shift this as well. In all the books, all the talks, all the podcasts that I've listened to, they've all encouraged me to shift away from the nine to five job. What's the reason for this? Well, it's a very, very strong reason that I'm going to try and instill in you guys today. That is, you don't want to trade time for money for the rest of your life. When you're working a job, you literally have to go to work in order to make money. If you don't go to work, you don't make money. And while that can be a blessing for some, it can also be a big curse because it places a big ceiling on the type of lifestyle that you can achieve. Overall, I'd say that this is a recipe for a very normal life. This is what the majority of America does as well as the entire world. But I will say that America is hugely overworked. It's become normal to wake up in the morning, clocking at work, spending a good eight to 10 hours at work, driving home, eating dinner, getting a couple hours with your family or doing things that you enjoy, and then going to bed. For me, when I thought about this, I was like, that is not the type of life I want to live. And through all the self-improvement, all these different things that I've listened to, it gave me the confidence to think, hey, I can build whatever type of life I want to live. And that brings us to the service-based business, which in my opinion is the best way for people to get into entrepreneurship. A service-based business allows you to trade your high skill time into money. Obviously that's not the goal forever, but it's the easiest way to get into entrepreneurship. And at some point you can turn this into a business with employees so that the business and you are making money even though you're not working yourself. So if you want to shift your work activities, really consider picking a high income skill that you have or can learn quickly and then doing that service for clients. This is what I started doing in high school and college where I learned photography and I would take photos for people. I was actually able to make a good amount of money from this because it is a high income skill. You can charge a lot per hour. And as a result, you don't need to work that many hours to get by. This is literally what I've been doing since I graduated from college and just really been able to afford me the lifestyle that I want. Even when I was not making that much money after college, I still had the best lifestyle because I could choose when I wanted to work. And yeah, as a result, I wasn't on anyone else's schedule. For me, being in control of my time was the most important thing. And that is why I decided to pursue entrepreneurship. And so that brings us to another really key concept, which is speed. In Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, he analyzed several hundred people who accumulated fortunes well beyond the million dollar mark and found that all of them were quick to make decisions and slow to change them, if at all. So yeah, I just gave you guys a bunch of knowledge and how shifting changed my life, but knowledge isn't power until it's applied. After going through so much self-help content, I realized that mostly all the answers are within us. Unless we need more help on more specific technical topics. Our mind already knows what's right and what it wants. And so you just need to be persistent in doing these shifts and having discipline and holding yourself accountable to these shifts. That you guys is what most of us lack. So yeah, what do you guys think? Is this an idea that you guys can get behind? I know that shifting all these areas of your life is extremely uncomfortable. But if there's anything that this video can do for you, it's to show you how helpful it's been for my own life and make you realize, hey, if this random stranger can do this, so can I. Put on those glasses that make you want to switch up everything 
something in your life and I guarantee you something amazing is going to come out of it. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you guys haven't yet already, make sure to use the links down below in the description to get your free stocks because free money means more time for you to actually go out and make these shifts in your life. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to share with a friend and also like and subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.